Hey guys, welcome back to Vegas Vixen in the Kitchen Quarantine Edition. So today we're going to be making a very easy stir fry with just ginger and chicken and I'm going to try something new by speaking English and Khmer. So bear with me because I'm not super super fluent, but let's give this a try. So So let's go over our ingredients. So first we have some fresh minced garlic, um, and I know it looks kind of blue, but I guess sometimes garlic turns blue, but it's safe to eat. Um, some ginger, and I'm going to show you how to cut it. And then some chicken, and I have some chicken thighs here. So salmon kaplo, some oyster sauce takjang, sugar skal, chicken powder. Um, what's this called? Masalmon. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to cut the ginger and cut the chicken. And um, how do I say this in Khmer? Yumneng bahat aburin. So we'll start with the ginger first. Yung 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 han kniye mon. So I have I I have all together here about four knobs of ginger. Um, hal bun bun kniye like this. <laughs> um, and so I'm just gonna cut it like this. Uh, long ways yung han. So don't cut it too thick or too thin, just just right. And we're gonna stack it and then julienne it. And I'm just gonna split it. Um, and if you like it thicker, you can cut it thicker. If you like it thinner, you can cut it thinner. I just like it just right. So, basan da chochet han krah han krah kaban, or ko chochet stang han stang kaban, but yung chochet lamo. So we're just gonna julienne the ginger. As you can see, long matchsticks, not super thick, not super thin. And if you like a lot of ginger, you can also just put a lot of ginger, ginger or you can put a little bit less if you don't like it. When I was a kid, I didn't like ginger very much and I would actually pick out the ginger when I would eat this. Um, but ginger is really good for you. It's really essential during these times, good for your, your immune system. Uh, but um, And now we're gonna cut our chicken. And we have some chicken thighs. Lanung yung han sat mon. Kyum mien sat sat kaplo. Hay yung han kum ay tuk pe, kum ay krah pe, kum ay thom pe, han lamom. So we're just gonna cut it in perfect sizes. And honestly, it just depends on how you like it. If you want it a little bit chunkier, up to you. The young jojet han krah tom tom kaban han me kaban strategic. All right, now that we have everything cut and ready and prepped, we're gonna go over to the stove. I learned that young han sak mo na kinay haya young to chapram cha. So see you guys at the stove. All right, so now that we are at the stove, we're gonna turn the heat on. Alunan yung mao kpeh, yung mao kleng kachanan, yung cham ay klao yung dak, yung dak pring. So once it's hot, you're gonna add the oil. We're gonna just wait for it to get hot. And I have some olive oil, anik pring olive oil. I don't know how to say olive in Khmer, so if you guys know how to say olive in Khmer, please let me know. So it's kind of hot now. We're gonna add the oil. We're gonna be pretty generous because we're gonna try to fry up the ginger. 
Hayang ling knye to achnoi. We're gonna add the ginger first. So I like to cook the ginger a bit before I add the garlic and then the chicken. So when you touch it, ling knye sun. Hey, ban yung dak sam sa hay nung ban dak sak mon chol. And I like the ginger to get like a golden brown color before I add the garlic. I think And then you'll start to see it browning in a second. And I'll show you what you're looking for. Now I'm going to add some garlic. And I'm gonna do maybe about a tablespoon. Bahal masapriya bai, bani masapriya suit. But it's about uh, one tablespoon because it's a heaping spoonful. And once this is all fragrant, I'm going to add the chicken. So yung ling knye hin ng sam da chmoy, hay man yung that sex mo and that looks about good. And as you can see, the ginger is a nice golden color. The garlic is getting a little golden color too. And it's ready for the chicken. Now I'm gonna turn up the heat. And I like to stir the chicken until it's a nice golden color. Then I add the ingredients. Here, young Ling said, "Mon the turn the ham, such nan, he wang yung ba, krung krau pinke." Actually, now is about the right time to add your chicken powder. Alam niyo yung ba, masal mo ang so ay yung minsit. And I always eyeball it. But let's just go with the spoon. So we're gonna add about one tablespoon of chicken powder. So masal mo ang yung that masapir bay. That way the chicken has good flavor. And I like my pan like super hot, so that's why you can hear the sizzle all crazy. Like I was saying, I want the chicken to have like a nice char, so I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit. And for it to cook through. Chicken juices are coming in the middle. The hottest part of this wok is the outer part, so that's why I have it up the top like that. Okay, now we're gonna add some sugar, and I'm gonna use another spoon. And I don't think I mean, I like to use a little bit of sugar to balance out the saltiness in the oyster sauce. Um, I'm sure that skull might be the strong the fried egg. I'm sure that fried egg the most. I like to try to break the flavor from the side, as you can see. Okay, so I'll just put that there so the chicken can kind of get the color I want. So I'm gonna take this spoon. I did half of this, half of the spoon, so you can saw the last three by, and I'm just going to drizzle it over because you don't want it too salty or too sweet. My I'm baked, and then we're going to add our oyster sauce, lining that thick chong, and I just pump out a, maybe like. That looks about maybe three tablespoons, and I like a lot of oyster sauce. And so it's the chong strand. So I'm going to add the I think maybe I should start turning this down a bit because the side is starting to get burned. And if you want the flavor from the wok, just optional, you can add some cornstarch and water. So I'm just going to get some of that mixture as this is still going. And this is if you, because you want more sauce. 
I had some that was ready and it was about a small spoon of cornstarch. Um, you know, that masao, masao cha, masapriya hai ng dalitak, so we can have some sauce. And then I'm just gonna put all of it, that thing off, and I'm gonna scrape the sides of the wok so you can get that flavor into the sauce. So you can use whatever type of meat you want. Um, I had chicken thigh, I mean, um, to flow, and I'm charging with like one to flow. So it looks about ready. Um, jet high eye, yung bắt flow, and then yung luk bắt chan, to mui bai. So then we're ready to serve with some rice. After. We taste a little bit right now to make sure all the flavors are good. I think I put a little bit too much oyster sauce, which is really salty, so I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar. Um, that the chong should I bake with I am bake when I'm that time scum and bake on the I am fry the mom. So I added about another half of a spoon of sugar. My sauce is starting to dry up, so I'm gonna turn it down. Okay, now it's really good. Everything's perfect. And round it. Alone with I am fry the moma yung but plug. Now we're ready to serve. All right, guys. So now it's time to taste. So I have the ginger chicken stir fry. How can you? It looks so good. More than nung chingan yun. Okay, now we're gonna try it. Now we're gonna pluck the chicken. So good. It's perfectly sweet and salty. The flavors are all balanced. Um, what is it? I'm fry lemon. Yum the chinaman then. Okay guys, well thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, let me know what you think, subscribe, and share any social media. See you next time. I don't know how to say all that in Khmer, so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna keep eating. Mm.